Hey everyone, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to the channel. It's New Year's when I'm posting this. That means it's time for a new beginning. Do you see these boxes burning behind me? Well, it's not about burning the boxes and some of y'all are going to get on to me for not recycling or reusing those boxes for something else. But I am using them for something else. As I just said, it's time for a new beginning. And that's what we're doing with these pine cone lilies. You know, they die in the winter, they come back in the spring. So I'm using these boxes <coughs> to burn the dead overgrowth. So that way these pine cone lilies can generate into a newer and bigger life come this spring. But that's not what this video is about. If you've seen the name change on this video, you see it now says Walsh Homestead Adventures and R&W Farmstead. Well, 2024 is going to be a new beginning for Jackie and I. You've seen me post a couple of videos where we're getting our current house that we still live in, getting ready to sell because we want to move over to <coughs> Bless Nana's uh, in 2024. And that's actually where I'm at right now is over at Bless Nana's, which is our future homestead slash farmstead so i'm gonna let this box these boxes burn and when we come back we're gonna walk around and i'm gonna tell you what my dream is for 2024 so be back in a few so you can see the box is almost burnt we still got some more burning to do here but it's a little bit wet this morning but i had time to get the fire going and wanted to get this video made so if you remember a couple years ago when I was in Shed Wars, this is where we had our garden. And it sort of went bust because the couldn't get the pump to the deep well to work like it should. So just didn't get the water there. And in South Georgia, you have to irrigate if you want something to grow good, like vegetables or corn, stuff like that. Now, cotton and peanuts grow good without irrigation. You can see that by this cotton field right here that is in part of our garden so obviously we can't do any over the winter garden prep to the cotton gets gone but here you see this row of azaleas and i don't know how long they have been here but every easter jackie's family gets together and there's give or take a minimum of 100 people here <coughs> uh, during easter and you know probably a third to half of those are kids and they have a blast hunting Easter eggs in those azaleas, in the pine cone lilies. You know, of course, for the young kids, we set them out in the open. But, you know, so that will just stay. I'd like to clean it up a little bit, but that, that will stay. Of course, we'll go back to the garden. And there's a water line that runs from that deep well that you can't see here. You may can see it. I can't see it because I'm looking in the glare of the sun. But it runs through the yard, back behind my truck, and runs to that row of pecan trees across the, the street. So I'm going to tap into that line to bring water to this garden. So again, this will go back to be our garden spot uh, in, well, this year. I was going to say in 2024, but it is 2024. So later this year, this spring part of this will be our garden spot so we don't have a timetable on building the house we will move in with blessed nana for a little while <clears throat> and our new house will go right here and when we get it built blessed nana will move in with us and we'll add an extra room for my mother, in case she ever moves back. But we haven't decided exactly where our house is going to sit. So somewhere between that fence row in here will be our house. Because we want to move it away from the barns a little bit. So just different flowers and all my mother-in-law's got growing there. Uh, had a couple of plum trees, but I think they're both dead. Lemon tree 
it died, but all the rest of that is hers. So. Let me get up here to the barn and let's talk about this. So here's the deep well I was referencing. Of course, you've seen our, well, Nana's grape vineyard, Muscadine grapes before. Of course, then there's the orange tree and the grapefruit tree. <coughs> Still have fruit at the top that I have not climbed and to, uh, to pick because when I picked the lower that I could reach, the, the top wasn't quite ready. So I got to get back up there and get that finished. But this shelter here, they call the bird shelter. Back when Jackie was a little girl, uh, they raised quail. And she says she don't remember much about it, except that she knows that it was the bird shelter. Of course, this little fence here is really just to hide from the road what Nana has underneath it. And I'll want to replace it with something else that will blend in with the house but i do want to do some work to this shelter so <clears throat> i won't say jackie's age i'm 60 she's younger than me so if she remembers a little girl you just do the math and you can give a take uh, about how old this shelter is this is back when it was real wood real heart pine oh uh, so I want to try to leave all this as original as I can, but it does need some work. Uh, you can see some, some sagging here. That, that post is splitting, so obviously I got to do something there. But I would like to go back to raising quail. Been, been watching several YouTubers on raising quail, and, and I want to do that, except I don't want a big flight pen. I want to raise them for eggs. I want to raise them for meat. So my idea, again, my idea, my dream, and we know dreams can be shattered by life. Dreams can be shattered by reality. Dreams can be shattered by funding. But my dream would be to close this section in right here to where I could have some brooder pens, store feed, store equipment, store supplies, and it be closed in for the brooder pen because of the winter weather. I'm standing out here right now and it is 46 degrees and it's a little chilly because the wind's blowing. I get out of the wind, it feels great at 46 degrees. But for newborn hatchlings, it would be cold. So I would keep them in inside this spot here. <clears throat> and then I think I would just build hutches around the edges. That way I could work in the middle. You know, I'm not going to try to get rich off of it. You know, for, for quail eggs, it takes three quail eggs to make one chicken egg. So, uh, plus the meat. So, I don't know how many I'd raise here. But, you know, again, that's just a dream. You know, when it happens, it happens. Uh, this building already has electricity. Already has water. So, don't have to do that work, except I'll probably freshen it up and make sure everything is wired good because if you build brooder pens you're going to need some heat lamps and good lighting so may change that <clears throat> over here in the south we call these pack houses a lot of people will call them barns of course it's got sheds on each side of it but we call it a pack house because in the old days that's where everybody would pack everything you know whether it was the sheets of tobacco after the tobacco was picked, you know, it would be stored in here until it got hauled off to the warehouse, uh, whether you stored your seed, your fertilizer, anything else. Well, you know, Jackie likes to cook. She likes to can. So, again, my dream would be to build her a kitchen in here for canning, cooking, baking, stuff like that, so that when she got done, if she didn't feel like it, she wouldn't necessarily have to clean up because it's not in the house kitchen proper. So even if she cleaned up, we all know canning takes a lot of space. It takes a lot of space for all your utensils, your pots, your pans, full jars, empty jars. Again, a lot of pantry space that we would have here. So I would love to turn this pack house into some kind of cooking, baking, canning uh, for her. 
course, this needs some work. It, need, it needs some leveling back up. It needs a little bit of patching out on the outside. And I'm going to leave the outside of these original. Because, again, this stuff has got to be back to the, to the 30s at least, the 1930s. So uh, do have some work here on this corner to raise it back up. That pro post broke off. Here's one of the remaining tobacco barns uh, left on this site. And I don't remember how many was out here, but for some reason this, this one didn't get moved. So that'll just give us a place for more storage. But one thing we do have to find is somewhere as the property line changes over here. It changes from Bless Nana's to one of Nana's sisters. So we are hoping to purchase this from her. Would still let Jim farm it because we, we wouldn't need that land anytime soon. But we, we would just want to own it. So you can see we got the pole that need to be cut off to fix that. So we just got to get that fixed. <clears throat> a couple of corn bins used to be right here. You can see that one is still around. Got the rectangle here. Uh, I would like to put a greenhouse right here. Again, all this is just a dream. It's my dream. Jackie's going to hear this the same time you hear it, if she does. But again, just, just my dream. So I hope that 2024 is a good year, a blessed year, and a happy year for each and every one of us. I don't want to say much more about that because then I would just get political. Now here at the front, I'd like to build some kind of porch. You know, change those doors. So that way we'd have some kind of porch for people to enter and exit the pack house. I'd put some kind of sign up there that says the pack house. See, so we got our fuel tank there, which we don't use as Cousin Jim's. But as I said, that's just my dream for 2024. It's a new beginning. It's a new year. So it's time for all of us to work towards a new year. 2023 is past. It's gone. Not a whole lot we can do about it. You know, not a whole lot we can do about the politics of the future. And I said I wasn't going to bring up politics. But, you know, we really need to seriously think about who we elect in 2024. And most of you know I'm a diehard Republican, diehard conservative. But I'm going to be blunt right here and say our Republican leaders are worthless as tits on a boar hog. Once they get elected, their primary job is to get reelected. It should be to serve their constituents, but it's not. And I need to quit there before I get on a rant because I want 2024 to be as happy for you as it is for all of us. So in closing, I'm going to leave the Walsh Homestead Adventures name up there for a little while just so people can get used to the new name. But why r and Farmstead? That's going to be for another video. So until I make that video, y'all take care and God bless.